And a very good afternoon to you all. You are in the Shadow Gallery. I am, as always, your host, James Donnelly. And a uh, special edition today, uh, because today found us blessed, finally, on the internet with the first teaser for The Dark Knight Rises. Uh, there were some pretty bad bootleg copies going around. Um, they were just awful. Um, and there's some fake ones going around, as always, because that's always something that goes around. Uh, but now we finally have an official tra you know, an official teaser for the film coming out next summer. So, we're going to take a look at it first, and then we're going to talk about it. So... Here we are. The fire rises. If you make yourself more than just a man, devote yourself to an ideal, then you become something else entirely. A legend, Mr. Wayne. A legend. We were in this together. And then you were gone. And to come back. What if he doesn't exist anymore? He must. He must. Okay, wow. Um, that's... Okay, if anything, Nolan knows how to make a good teaser. Now, if you remember the teaser, the first teaser that they released for The Dark Knight uh, was just the... Uh, was just, you know, start off, you know, just as the, you know, the black screen, then there was, you know, kind of overlapping dialogue from the new film and then it you know you saw you know the bat emblem uh, and then slowly disintegrating and then you heard you know the joker's voice and you know you, know, you had a pretty good hint that everything was going to go to hell however uh they decided to take kind of a two-pronged approach here um Harkening back to some of the, well, obviously harkening back to the original film and the original teaser for Batman Begins, uh, because I mean, one of the first images that you see in that original teaser is the kind of disheveled Bruce Wayne walking amongst, uh, you know, the Himalayan mountains, um, and you know, and you hear that you know the great. Liam Neeson voiceover, and here they've opted to do the same kind of thing. Now, obviously, they can't they can't harken back to the last film specifically as far as dialogue is concerned, because unfortunately, uh, and still, you know, it still breaks my heart to this day. Um, the you know the main character, the main villain. Uh, from that film cannot return, will not return. Uh, you know, and may Heath Ledger rest in peace because that, you know, still a awful, terrible thing. And, you know, it, it just, it started to show, okay, well, this was an actor to truly be reckoned with. 
and that's that's what makes me sad just about more so than anything obviously sad for you know his family and his loved ones but I mean me personally to you know to see that you know to see that talent not only you know as the Joker but you know as Ennis Del Mar in uh, Brokeback Mountain I mean in you know I there's shit that he's made that most people don't even like that I really enjoy like for instance The Order uh, you know, A Knight's Tale, Ten Things I Hate About You, uh, Monster's Ball. He was the only good thing about Monster's Ball. Everything else sucked. Anyway, back to this trailer. Okay, so then we have that, you know, uh, you know, we have that great shot of, you know, one of my favorite shots from the original film, which is Bruce standing amongst the circling bats in the cave. And then, okay, boom, we are now in the present. And for whatever reason, we've got Jim Gordon, Commissioner Jim, James Gordon, in a hospital bed. Very badly wounded by someone, and he's talking about that. Now, what it seems is though he's speaking to Bruce Wayne. But he's talking about Batman. Now, whether or not that actually comes to pass in, you know, because obviously, you know, trailers can be very misleading. Uh, some footage is filmed specifically for a trailer. Um, you know, things like that. Um, I don't doubt this is something that will appear in the film. But, at, you know, as the exchange occurs, you know, it's talking about that, you know, you know, it's talking about that the city more than ever now needs Batman because of this evil that has risen. And this evil is Bane. And you see a glimpse, uh, you know, if you, if, you know, if you stop on the frame close enough, you see a pretty good glimpse, you know, full on glimpse of, well, at least face anyway, of Tom Hardy as Bane. How he's going to play the character is one of the most intriguing things about the film to me. Um, you know, people have tried to keep it somewhat spoiler-free as far as casting and so on and so forth. I mean, I pretty much know the direction this film... Well, okay, I don't know the direction the film is going in, but I know that there are certain characters that are going to appear in this film that are, you know, one of them certainly is not going to be who they appear to be. Um... You know, we have, you know, Anne Hathaway as Selena Kyle. Uh, that's, you know, this, I mean, it, the casting is just top notch. It's just fantastic. And, you know, then you have, you know, that moment where you see an, you know, an obviously um, tired Batman squaring off against Bane. And then you get that great graphic of, you know, that appears essentially in the poster for the film of the, you know, you know, it's, it's you know, uh, you know, kind of a worm's eye view of, you know, of the, uh, you know, the skyscape of Gotham City as it starts to crumble. And that's essentially, and then, but revealing the bat symbol. So, I mean, you know, if we're speaking metaphorically, we're speaking that, okay, well, what's happening here is that Gotham will continue to crumble until Batman reemerges. And, you know, so we've got, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, it's just as far as what we see from, I mean, so this is a very promising trailer, you know, it's a very promising teaser. I can't call it a trailer because it's just a teaser. And it's really teasing me. <laughs> I mean, this is... Uh, I mean, this is a film I need to see now. You know, not next summer, not next month, not next week, not tomorrow. I need to get in... I need to get into a theater to see it now. Because this is just way, way, way too awesome. Um, I mean, just the idea of what we could be looking at. I mean... Now, my guesstimate is that it'll probably be 
the holidays, uh, probably around, uh, probably around uh, Thanksgiving in the U.S., that we'll start to see that we'll see another uh, Dark Knight Rises teaser. That will probably be more focused on Selena Kyle's character. That's my guess. If I were to if I were to venture a guess, that would be my guess. And we'll probably see some more viral marketing before then that will probably give a reveal of perhaps Selena Kyle in the Catwoman suit, because obviously we really want to know what that's going to look like. Especially on Anne Hathaway. Uh, so all in all, this is a a wonderful teaser. Chris Nolan knows how to do teasers extremely well. He knows how to give you just enough information to get you really fucking interested, but not enough information to give away the whole fucking movie. And that's that's a, that's a very that's a fine art in uh, in making uh, trailers. Because so many trailers, they just give away the whole goddamn movie, and it's like you might not, might as well not even bother to see it. Um, so, anyway, just you know, fantastic stuff here. You know, Nolan keeps rolling along. It's sad that this is going to be only a trilogy, but that's I, I wouldn't expect anything more out of these guys, and it'll be you know if you know. If it goes well, we're going to have another movie. We're going to have another first uh, in a series of Batman movies within 10 years anyway. So if, if Hollywood keeps going at that pace, and I'm, yes, I'm looking at you, amazing Spider-Man. You just seem like a cash grab to me. Um, you don't really have a story to tell that we don't know already. So, I mean, to me, there's nothing special about you. There's nothing significant. It's just, okay, well, this time it's going to be more like the comic book he has the, instead of organic web shooters, it's going to be mechanical web shooters. Yeah, I don't know. It, that, that film just bothers me all around. I'll, I'll still go see it, but, you know, <laughs> because I'm a sucker that way. Anyway, so, uh, you know, give us some thoughts. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you're liking. Tell me what you're not liking. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time. So long.